Hi guys, welcome back. We have not done a proper Sunday fun day and I don't even know how long. Um, yeah, it's been a while. So let's get into it. Sunday fun day, better than a Monday. Can only do it one way and that is the drunk way. I don't think we will be getting drunk this Sunday, but we do have something I've been wanting to try for a while now. I saw this beer online sometime uh, last year, probably in the summer. I forget why I was even looking for it. I think I was just looking for unique beer flavors. But if you can see that. Ba, 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 na, na. So Isabel and I went to Cost Plus World Market today found all sorts of amazing things, found some mix to make a king cake for Mardi Gras, even comes with the, um, what is it, marzipan filling? I think so. But it also comes with the little plastic infant baby that we can put inside, so that's gonna be a lot of fun. Found some hot sauce, of course. Found some delicious Australian licorice for Bishop. And I found this. And of course, it's an import store, I should have known but I did a little more research into this. So it's Eagle Brewing and it is from the UK. So it's imported by St. Killian. Um, I'm imagining that's the same company that makes Killian's Irish Red. Might be wrong. I'll look it up and make a note if I'm incorrect. But then it's imported. No, it's imported by St. Killian. I am wrong. So it's Eagle Brewery out of Bedford, UK and it's imported by St. Killian out of Massachusetts. That makes more sense. Well then get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit, so it's together. All right, so let's check this out. What else do we have going on here? It is 5.2% ABV. It talks about the color and the EBU. I will confess, I don't drink enough beer to know a whole lot about that, but if you are interested, the color is 20, 26.5 EBC and an EBU of 22.5. It is considered a lager with crystal malt. And the hops are Challenger and Styrian Goldings. That's so specific. Gosh, I feel ill prepared to review this beer, but I'm just gonna tell you whether I think it's good or not. And our frosted glass has melted most of the way while well, I've set up for this. All right. Oh, it smells immediately like banana. It kind of reminds me. I'm totally drawing a blank. When I was in college, one of my favorite beers was Sam Adams Cherry Harvest. Is that what it's called? It's it's just a, a lager with a bit of cherry added in. But it was one of my favorites, and this smells just like it, but banana instead of cherry. time, huh? Okay. Yeah, it definitely has a strong banana flavor, not artificial. And of course, because it's beer and it's made with wheat, it definitely is reminiscent of banana bread. I was messaging Nuff from Main Event Pong about this earlier and I asked if I should review this or something else. And he said that banana bread is perfect for quarantine times, which is kind of true. A lot of people are making bread right now. I don't know why, but they are. I think maybe the first few weeks of being at home, being on lockdown, all of the yeast and flour and sugar in our local grocery stores were sold out but that's since self-corrected, so I don't know if people are still making bread. I do have a few bananas in the freezer that I need to turn into banana bread. 
Mm. And tell me guys, if you make banana bread at home, do you ever put chocolate chips in it? I absolutely love banana bread with chocolate chips. And I made it pretty recently. It was the first time I think I'd ever made banana bread for Blake. He freaked out. I'm not kidding. He was so mad at me because it wasn't how his mom made banana bread. I guess she just made straightforward banana bread, no additives. She might have put walnuts or something in there, but definitely not chocolate chips. He was furious that I had ruined the banana bread. Guess who had to apologize to me? That dude did. Yeah, it's amazing with chocolate chips. And even Blake, who is not a huge chocolate chip fan or chocolate fan in general, thought it was great. So if you can tolerate chocolate, if you like it at all, I highly recommend. Hmm. Yeah, that's very unique. Huh. So question is, would I buy it again? Mm, probably not. I love fresh bananas. I'm not a huge fan of things with banana added to them. Although, like I said, I do like an occasional banana bread, banana muffin. But even then, that's not what I would typically go for. Like if you gave me the option between a banana nut muffin and a lemon poppy seed muffin, I'm going le lemon poppy seed 100% of the time. Um, but again, it doesn't taste like that nasty banana artificial flavoring they add to candy. So I like that. Does it list ingredients? A lot of beers don't. It does not. Yeah, it just says fresh bananas pack a whole bunch of aromas while rich moldy hops deliver a seriously fruity flavor, all perfectly balanced by a masterful blend. So I don't know. Oh, it does say, okay, on the front, it says malt beverage brewed with bananas and banana flavor added. So it does have both actually. Interesting. Yeah, so I wouldn't buy it again. I do recommend it though. If you are a fan of banana bread, things with banana flavor added in, I think you'll really enjoy this. It's a very drinkable beer. It's very light. Yeah, I think even if they remove the banana flavor from it, it would be a perfectly delightful casual beer to enjoy for your Sunday fun day. Excellent, excellent. Well, it is good to be back with you guys. I hope that you are enjoying a delicious beverage today, uh, whether it's alcoholic or non. And with that, I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and I am hoping that you have an awesome Sunday. Bye.